So what do you think, uh, how, when you gave us an example of how uh, climate change has affected Sundarbans areas particularly. Yeah. So could you just, you know, just yeah. talk about it a little bit? Sure, so the Sundarbans I think are a great example of how uh, climate change is interacting with bad human behavior globally. So the Sundarbans are, are a group of islands, they're off the, uh, the northeastern Indian coast and the uh, southern Bangladeshi coast. There's about 200 of them, about 4 million people live there. And, uh, and uh, why did they form there in the first place? Well, uh, there's the Ganga Brahmaputra river system that comes down out of the Himalayas. Massive system. Uh, and it, it carries sediment out of the Himalayas. Uh, and that sediment is what feeds the island. It's what, it's what is deposited and caught by the mangrove forests that are on the summer place. Um, but, you know, what keeps them from growing really huge? That's the Indian Ocean slowly eroding things away. That's how things have been in the Sundarbans for tens of thousands of years. But in the 1970s, the Indian government created a, 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 the Faraka Barrage, or the Faraka Dam, a, as, a, as a way to help um, preserve the harbor in Calcutta. And what it did was it, is it caught the sediment in the river and it pushed it off to one side so it didn't go down into the ocean directly. Uh, and what that meant was that, that, uh, that the sediment coming down on stream was was, it was much lower in concentration, it wasn't feeding the islands anymore. So they, they basically were strangled out of their lifeblood, the sediment. Um, and on the other hand, climate change has impacted the Sundarbans too because you get uh, more intense storms, uh, the, the big cyclones that, that come uh, off the Indian Ocean, that are really strong, uh, and sea level rise is, is moving very quickly in this area. So the, the water is getting higher, the storms and the, all the erosion of the strong waves is hitting the islands, and it's dissolving them. And we're really losing an island every year, two or three now. So it, it's, it, to me, the, what I take from that as a lesson is that, is that uh, climate change is a problem. It's a serious problem. But bad human behavior, the bad resource management, is, is actually what often is making climate change much, much worse. So if we were able to get the Faraka Barrage to actually let that sediment come downstream, then the islands would probably last much longer. But it is a very, very good chance that we will lose the Sundarbans entirely. And how many people are being going to get affected because of that? It's at least four million people. It's you know that 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 doesn't sound like a lot, you know, to a country like India that has a billion people. Uh, but but I actually these are uh, particularly poor people. They're just engaged in subsistence agriculture. They you know there are no factories there. It's uh, these are very rural people. And from a conservation perspective, it's really important too because this is where you find this massive, really important mangrove forest. It's where you find Bengal tigers, and and. This is not the first time the climate has changed. Uh, the, the Sundarbans move around, you know. If, if we didn't have the Faraka Barrage, they actually would sort of drift inland uh, as, the, as the sea level rose. And that would, that would be a highly adaptive solution. But, but we, we've, we've made the problem so that, that they're eroding on the ocean side and they're eroding on the land side. And so the people are really caught in the middle. And where will they go? And Sarah, what do you think the people who are fortunate, like people like us, what do you think our responsibility should be? Um, first of all, I think our responsibility is to share our knowledge. And uh, as John said, there are solutions to this problem that seem to be known. And uh, how, can we, uh, how can we share this information with the people who make decisions and most of all the people that are subjected to this and are living in this 